you don't want your emergency kit to be too big, I know they're really not carrying all that to school. But I keep paying killer wipes. If my arm puffs, I need strong reinforcements. I, your breath does can't be smelling thick. Hi guys, it's a girl Tati Tats, Tatiana or Tati or whatever you wanna call me and welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome and welcome back to my back to school series. If all you can hear the fan in the background are real sorry, or like real, real hot. And if I don't have that fan on, I'm gonna be sweating real bad in this video. So let's try to ignore it. Try to ignore it. Right? Alright. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a little what you should keep in your emergency kit. Right? You can keep this in your book bag. But since this is a since this is a back to school series, you can keep this little emergency kit in your book bag. If you're in secondary school, if you're in university, if you're in form six, even if you're in I don't think I have anybody who in primary school watching my videos, but you can keep this if you're in standard five. Because that is the time a young girl might see her little period. Her period might come in standard five, form one, you know. So and some girls get it earlier. So it's good to keep these things in your book bag, you know. And I'll see you that my shoulder wet. And I'll done bail all you. <laughs> so when I was growing up, no one really told me that I should keep an emergency kit in my bag. I mean like if my parents tell me like yeah you should keep extra pads in your bag just in case because you know as a young lady you never know when your period might want to make a surprise appearance and be like boo a back. But not really they never tell me I keep like a whole emergency kit and I wish I really wish they did because I found out about emergency kits from YouTube and when I found out about it, I think I was like informed too and it really helped me a lot and wherever that girl had into emergency kit, I found it and I kept it in my book bag and then I tell you, that emergency kit come in handy so much of times so much of times, right? so this video is basically showing you what I keep in my emergency kit and what you can keep in your emergency kit Alright, so I being completely honest with all you, last semester I didn't have an emergency kit. I had like a little compartment in my bag I used to let's throw everything in. But this semester, your girl invested in a cute little emergency kit love. It is pink and black and if you know me, you know pink and black is my favorite colors. Right? If you didn't watch my back to school haul, you would have seen that I got this bag and I told you all I was going to make a what's in my emergency kit video. All I thought I was lying. I don't lie, love. I wouldn't lie to all you. So, let's get into it. Okay, okay. You don't want your emergency kit to be too big. Like, I just see some girls emergency kit on YouTube and it's ridiculous. I mean like, I know they're really not carrying all that to school. It may look good, but I can press it down like this and then push it in my book bag. Some girls emergency kit, I like all your lying to people and them. All your door carry around that big thing all the time on your book bag. But yeah, this is about the same size as a pencil case. About the same size as a pencil case, and you can make it smaller. It will have to be like this. It can be smaller, right? Let's get into it. Because I know y'all wanna see. I know y'all wanna see. Oh my gosh. I can't even open it. Oh lord, embarrassing. Embarrassing. But yeah. It's so alright off the bat. Ooh, things falling out. Put that back in there. Right? Things still falling out. Anyway, <laughs> one of the most important things you have to keep in your emergency kit love pads, pads, and panty shoes. Right? I just keep three extra pads and three extra panty shoes. And my, this is your emergency kit, eh? so if you're on your period, I would advise you to walk with your normal set of pads that walk with and have these extra ones in your emergency kit just in case. And I hope you're not feeling uncomfortable watching this, you know, because 
the majority of my, my audience is females and if you're not female and you're watching this you should not feel uncomfort uncomfortable watching this because it's the reality of things and you might have a little sister or a little daughter a little cousin that may want this advice okay so the second most important thing you should keep in your emergency kit is medication medication lover um I just keep some pills and this is painkillers mostly and I have cold and flu but the majority of things in here is painkillers because as females as women as young girls love then period pains just be kicking your butt and then sometimes it'll just come out and no way you would leave your house good in the morning no period pain and as lunch time hits your belly wants to act up so I have Advil and other painkillers in here and I get headaches regularly I get headaches a lot so I always keep um, tablets specifically for headaches in in my emergency kit I remember last semester I did get an allergic reaction to something in the cafeteria that's why I don't buy anything in my school cafeteria anymore and which part my school is it's kind of far from a hospital or a pharmacy kind of real far from a hospital or a pharmacy and that day sadly the nurse wasn't there and I had real bad flare-ups on my nose and it was an allergic reaction because when I reached back home I went to the doctor and they told me it was an allergic reaction so I was always keep those pills in here just in case it happens again because I didn't have it the first time and I just keep an extra inhaler because I do have asthma I have baby lungs at my big age I can't breathe properly <laughs> I just keep an extra one in my emergency kit so I have I just keep one in my book bag and in my purse and I just keep an extra one in my emergency kit just in case I forget that one home at day you know next thing I just keep is a change of underwear because sometimes when you have your period you just have a little bit of leakage sometimes the period may come a bit heavy and have a little bit of leakage and so it's good to have an extra underwear in your book bag well in your emergency kit and I just keep it in a bag because I kind of paranoid and I just want my <laughs> I just want my underwear to touch it again so I just keep it in a bag and then too if I have to change the underwear I have to put the dirty underwear in the bag right I'll advise you though to use a ziplock bag this was the only bag I had at the time, so I just put it in here. But a ziplock bag would be better because if you have to change your underwear, it would be good to put the dirty underwear in a ziplock bag or a black plastic bag, right? Right. Next thing I keep is wipes. If you keep wipes or paper towels or tissue, it's always good to have it because I remember when I was in secondary school, my secondary school never, ever had toilet paper never I, if you wanted toilet paper you either had to go by the dean or pray somebody in your class had toilet paper love but i prefer baby wipes so it's good to keep wipes tissue paper paper towels anything of this nature in your book bag next thing i keep is this mini degree deodorant I use the green deodorant, but I use the women's deodorant. This is a men's deodorant. And my logic was behind buying the men's deodorant was if my arm bust, you understand? If my arm bust, I need strong reinforcements. <laughs> I need strong reinforcements. So that's why I buy the men's one. Because men's deodorant is stronger than women's deodorant. I don't know why the few women don't sweat. And sometimes your arm does bust. You never know. Sometimes it does happen, right? So you need strong strong reinforcements lover and i keep a small one because i want it to fit in my in my bag right then i keep a hand sanitizer because love of covid still around and then wasa always taking water let me be real <laughs> wasa always taking water and many times usually usually when when water gone they're supposed to send you home eh? but sometimes they don't send you home and after you don't use the toilet, I have no water. Use the hand sanitizer. Don't be walking around here. Don't be walking around here. 
that's nasty. Don't do that. Use your hand sanitizer, lover. A small one, keep it on you. Next thing I have in here is chapstick. I never used to keep chapstick on me, to be honest. It's just my school have ear condition and my skin does dry up plenty. My skin and my lips does dry up plenty, so that's why I just keep chapstick. And same reason, I just keep cream as well. Because I just be ear condition, I just get ashy a lot and I just keep an extra cream on me. And this is a roll on perfume. I like to smell nice. Place has be hot sometimes, and you never know. You never know. You might be smelling a little. Yes, it's true, stink and sweet, though. Don't mix, but you can suppress it for a little bit. But it's a small, and as you see, I just use it a lot. Because I just like to smell sweet. <laughs> I use it a lot. I do all on it real convenience. This is, this is completely optional. You really don't have to work with um, perfume in your bag. You really don't. But I just like to smell sweet. So I use it a lot. And this is the second to last thing I have in. Actually, no, I have three more things. Um, this is gum. Your breath can't be smelling thing. That is, that is, your breath just can't be smelling thing. And you could offer somebody else a piece if them breath smelling thing. You understand? This is this 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 is a necessity. Your breath can't be smelling thing. Gum, mint, or mini mouthwash. I used to have a mini mouthwash, but it is busted in my bag. It busted in my bag and I never put it back in my bag after that. So I just resort to gum or mints. Then I keep two woogies because somebody always asks them for a woogie. Somebody always asks them for a woogie or a headband or a head tie or, or rubber bands or whatever. So I just keep two woogies in my bag. Right? And the last thing I have, I don't keep this in my emergency kit, but I just keep it in my book bag. I just put it in this little pouch because I don't want to see it. Because I might spend it by accident, right? Um, it's money, extra money, because you never know, right? You never know. I have to the dollars. I normally keep 50, but I have to dollars. <laughs> no money my advice to use if you, if you even if you don't want to keep this much in your emergency kit or in your book bag or whatever keep enough for you to travel because you never know and this happened to me it was in i think it was in form six this happened to me i had was to travel and i didn't i wasn't planning to travel but i had extra money in my book bag so i just always say keep enough money for you to travel for you to reach back home right just in case because you never know what could happen when you have to reach back home you have to reach somewhere and you need extra cash right that was all for this video guys it was a kind of i think this video is short i think this video is short i don't know but that was all for this video all year don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more see you all here next week i don't know if next week video going on be our next back to school video because I have two more back to school videos for y'all but I don't know if it's going to be next week or the following week but all you're getting a video next week don't worry don't worry so once God spare my life and give my health life and strength all you're getting a next video next week right right so see y'all there in my next video bye